test, everything is working. This time at least I got the exposure right. Hi guys and girls, my name is Dan from GeekChronicles.ro and today I have a new clip about electronics. As you may or may not know, I think last year I built a smart thermostat with ESP Home and I deployed it in my home. That sounds so fancy but also it's so basic at the same time. It worked great most of the time but I had a few problems. My first problem was the connection between the ESP board and the sensors. I've used a tiny breadboard like this one in order to build like a quick prototype to test the components but I didn't take into account the fact that some connections may not be that perfect. So at least two or maybe three or four or five times my gas boiler didn't really trigger so each time I have to open up the case, diagnose the problem and then things will resume working for at least a couple of days. Now that summer came, I decided to rebuild the thermostat. This time is in beta 2 phase, we can say. I ironed out some of the problems with the connections, but most likely I will build another one in the future, in the near future. That will be a little bit smaller and a little bit smarter. But for that, stay tuned, because as of now, I don't have a plan for it. Just words. So now, my thermostat is composed from two parts. A relay and the control board. In the last design, I had the relay inside the main control box, but it made the space cramped. Also, the poor ventilation of the ESP caused the board to overheat sometimes. So, this time, I decided to pull out the relay. This relay, which is triggered by an ESP-1S board, will be placed underneath the gas boiler. And the main controller, that has another ESP board with the temperature sensor, the screen and the rotary encoder, will be placed in the main bedroom when me and my wife sleep. The initial design of the case was with a little feet in the back and my plan was to rest it on the table. A USB Type-C cable will came from the back, but that was the main plan. But I didn't took the account the weight of the case, so it got a little bit unstable. So by this time I got a little bit frustrated and decided to put on pause this idea, at least for now, and stick the thermostat with double-sided tape in the last place that I've installed it last time. Inside there is a prototype board that I've soldered to it some pins. For me it was really important that we'll use breadboard cables to connect the sensors with each other. I know this is not the perfect solution because I may encounter, at least in theory, some connection errors, but as of now in my testing I didn't notice any. But for me it was really important to be modular because as I said this is not the final version, this is like a beta 2 test of the prototype that I'm planning to run this winter to see what modifications, improvements I can bring to the board and also to the enclosure to make the experience better and the thermostat more smart. In terms of the components, as I said, the relay is triggered by an ESP-1S board and the main control unit has an ESP-8266 with the temperature sensor, an OLED display and a rotary encoder. But don't worry, all the parts and the uh, ESP home code will be down below in the description. The case was designed in Onshape. In my experience, Onshape was pretty easy to learn. I'm a I am a noob in the space of 3D printing, but it was really easy to learn on shape. And also thanks to YouTube and Reddit, I managed to complete the case in two days, something like that, after a bunch of failed attempts. So this is the device working. I managed to cram everything inside. Here on the side is the temperature and humidity sensor, the display, and here on the top I managed to make a vent for the ESP. The ESP is placed underneath the display to make sure that the hot air from the chip will escape with ease on the top side. Now this support that was meant for the that little fit I will place the device like this on the table, but that didn't work out. So I needed to improvise and with the drill, I drilled a few holes in the bottom and stick there the USB Type-C charging board. The thermostat is pretty simple. Here on the display on the top side, 
you know when the relay for the heating is on or off. Here is the inside room temperature. It's a little bit hot because I played with some hot glue around the sensor. Here is the outside temperature that it's pulled down from a sensor, a Zigbee sensor that I have placed outside. And here is the gas boiler, I mean the thermostat set temperature. And when I turn the rotary encoder counterclockwise, it will decrease the set temperature. And when I turn the encoder clockwise, it will increase the set temperature. Right now the press of the rotary encoder manually triggers the relay to start the gas boiler. But I don't know, for me it was a little bit buggy and I maybe, I don't know for now, I'm maybe gonna change this to do another thing, I don't know what for now. Here is the relay, basically it's an ESP1S with a relay board. I'm gonna hide this in a place that it will have some Wi-Fi signal, but it will not be observed by the common individual. My old thermostat had the relay built into it, but because the case was a little bit small and also I had some problems with the relays and the ESPs because of the 3.3 volts that it's outputted through the data pins, I've decided to switch the strategy a bit and use one of these boards and also make a little bit more room inside the thermostat so it's not that cramped. I will print a 3D case for this relay also and that's it. Yeah, that's about it, about my update regarding my new thermostat. Now it's summer, so I didn't have a chance to test it for an extended period of time, but my wife should be really excited in the winter when I will install it and see if it works reliably. That's about it. If you like this clip, leave it a like. If not, don't leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this, geek content like this. My question to you is, do you have a thermostat build with ESP Home? I would like to read your ideas down in the comment section below. What sensor do you use in your thermostat? How does your thermostat look in terms of code and appearance? Leave a comment below.